Hey everybody, welcome back to Steel Point Farms. And today we got another video with the 2038R and we're going to be prepping it for the 2022 uh, grass cutting season. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all how, how we got it. So I'm gonna show y'all that right now. As you can see, we have it on some ramps to uh, bring the deck up. And then we have the 60D Auto Connect um, deck raised up all the way. And um, we have the blades over there, which I will show y'all next. All right, guys. So the type of blades we're going to be using is this Ballard Premium um, Grass Cutting Blades. And the type is a high-rise blade. And the high-rise means it has this high-rise ramp on it. So when the grass get cut, when the, gas, the grass get cut right here, and the grass is this ramp right here, it raises the grass up. To get you to give you some nice lines in your yard so if you like lines in your yard we do recommend this um this type of blade and this is going to be our first time using this blade so we're going to show you guys how to install them on the 2038r so guys i'm going to show you the blades that we have on it right now so these are the uh blades that came with the 60d auto connect uh deck and these are just like the standard one that came from the factory. And they're very, they're pretty dull and they need to be changed. And I'm going to show you all the type of grass we'll be cutting also with the new blades. So I'm walking out to the, to the front yard and I'm going to show you guys how the blade hits the grass and how the high rise blades, you know, make your yard look nice. And I'll show you guys the after results of the aerating video that we did, the aerating and seeding video. And I'm gonna show you guys the results of the yard. So guys, this is our front yard and it is April 4th. And this is what it looked like on April, on April 4th. And it looks pretty nice, pretty nice, nice and thick grass. And I'm going to show you how the blade hits the grass and cuts it. Guys, I have the, um, the high-rise blade right here. So what happens is it hits, the grass hits, the grass hits the blade, then it cuts it, right? And it cuts it like that. Then when it goes over, the grass goes up, then it falls down like that. So then you have a nice looking yard. You have no chunks or anything like that in your yard. So it makes your front yard looks nice and stuff like that. Guys, make sure that you order the right blade for your lawnmower because this is a heavy duty grass cutting lawnmower. It's not really a lawnmower, it's a tractor. So you want to make sure you have the right, the right blades. And this is the width of two and a half inches. And the blades we have here wouldn't work for this SD40 because it would be too big. So you will want something pretty heavy duty for some this big. And we need th something this big to cut the thick grass. And we have a big front yard. All right, guys. So we're taking the old blades off. And right now we're on the right side. And I got that over here. That's going to be helping me take the blades off of this 2038R. So first we got to take this first blade off. I'm gonna use an 18 millimeter. Take this first blade off. You gotta have it in reverse. Once you get it started, you can use your hands to drop it down to the ground. Make make sure you don't use this lose this uh wash it right here. Set it right here. Let me slide on over. I'm gonna take another one off. All right, guys, we got those two off. Now we need to move to the left side to take the last one off. All right, guys, we are on the left side of the blade. And this is the uh, third blade. 
the last blade to take off. And then we will be done taking all the old blades off and then we'll put the new blades on. New ballot uh, blade. This is a high rise blade. It's a premium blade um, that we selected. This is our first time putting it on our uh, 2038. Uh, this is the new one. This is the old one. As you can see, uh, it was well needed for us to change this blade right here. Um, right here, it ran it all pretty bad. This is a standard blade that came with the actual John Deere. Uh, this right here, like I said, is a high rise. As you see, it has a lip right here. On the corner right here, uh, this is this is why they call it a high rise. This, it causes the grass to lift up in the air. Uh, will give you a groom um, look to your yard. Um, it's good for any type of uh, thick yard uh, to give you a good cut. Uh, also, it has a notch right here that helps it also um, give you that lift. As you see, the original one does not have that right here on either side. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed and we'll be right back. So if you wanna know anything um, more about the 2038R, we have another video on changing the oil about it. And we talk a lot about the, uh, the 38R. And if you wanna see anything like that, just check out our other video. Guys, next we're gonna be cleaning under the deck and we're gonna be using these just, just random uh, paint spatulas. Got this big, blade then we have the small blade and i'm gonna show you guys the uh while we're cleaning it guys so we got dad over there just scraping this old grass off of here we're just cleaning it up it's just like this old pack packed down compacted grass that's under the deck so what you're going to do is you're just going to take the spatula or whatever and you're just going to scrape scrape some of that grass off You can use whatever to do this. And we just want to get much as we can off. All right, guys, we are putting the new blades on. And as you can see on the ground right here, we scrape some of this old grass off the deck to keep it looking nice. And now we are putting the premium grass blades on. And you want to make sure that the that the ramp on the blades, the ramp on the blades is facing upward, not downward, because it's called a rising blade. So you want your grass to rise up, not fall down. Just keep that in mind. And he's just going to hand tighten it. Then we're going to go back over with the impact to get it real tight. And we guys, we're going to show you. The uh, the end. All right, guys. Quick note: make sure you have this uh, this washer that goes under the deck. Make sure you don't lose that. Make sure you don't strip the threads because then your blades might fall off and that could get really really ugly real quick. So, quick note to yourself: make sure you have these. Guys, we are done. And here's what they look like. They're all on there nice and snug. I gave you guys a little time lapse. And we got to clean that mess up. But we're going to take her off the ramps and uh, see how she sounds. And I'll show you guys that.
and we do got a little bit of a mess to clean up. But I'm gonna drive her outside, and then we'll start her up. First, gotta clean this mess up. Alright guys, we got kind of cleaned up, had a little bit of mud from the four-wheel up, cleaned that up also. But now, it's time to start that 2030AR up. <laughs> We just cut the first time with the uh, ballot blade, and I'm looking down through here. Um, look like we got some good groom lines. Uh, this outer perimeter right here was the first uh, line, and the second was when we come back. So we got some good striping right here. Now let's look down at the the blade. Let's look down at the blade and see how clean our cut is. So if you have a dull blade. Uh, it looks like that you are ripping the blade. As you see right here, we have an actual clean cut. Uh, if you look at this blade right here was not actually tall enough, but this one right here was. And you see right here, that's not a rip blade. That's a clean cut. So I would say so far we have a, a good uh, premium blade. Uh, right now, our grass is still coming up from uh, the fall planting. So... As I'm looking at right now, I think we're gonna have a good blade, but uh, we'll give you more views on it. But I think right now we got a success on these blades. Ballot blades is a premium blade and the high lift. Did raise the grass up. You don't see anything that's laid down. Everything is raised up. Like I said, this out of pass right here, the stripes is going this way. And this second one right here is coming toward us. And then right here is going back. So if you look at all four, uh, swipes that we have it look like it's striking pretty good all right thanks for watching
much. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Um, this was a pretty nice video. I think you guys should watch with the 2038R and the new blades we put on it. As you can see, the nice front lawn we have. We did spraying in the fall, seeding in the fall. Now we have a nice cutting tractor to cut this nice, tall, fescue lawn. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. And go check out our other videos with the 2038R and the seeding and the aerating video. And thank you guys for watching this video.